If your social media posts are just flopping, little views, little engagement, there is one word in your social media post that's probably causing your social media train to wreck and go off the tracks. When I look at clients that come to us needing help with their social media, I see this word sprinkled all throughout their social media posts. And on the other hand, when I look at some of our most successful clients to date, I always notice that they do not have this word in their social media posts. I'm going to tell you what that word is, but also let me say that if you too are interested in letting a professional agency handle your marketing for you to drive results and scale your business, fill out our contact form to get a free marketing proposal and quote to see exactly how we could help your business grow. I've linked it below. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Brandy with Life Marketing, the digital marketing agency with a mission to help small businesses grow. All right, there's one word in particular that I'm seeing that's causing social media posts to fail. That word is I. Not I like eyeball, not I like a pirate. I as in me, us, ourselves, our company. I as in not you, the customer. So let's dig into the why behind this pattern. And then at the end, I'm going to share one exception to the rule. So make sure you watch all the way to the very end. The reason the word I tends to make a social media post flop is because it means the post is oriented around the wrong thing from the start. Every piece of marketing content you put out there, social media posts included, need to be centered around your customer, not around your business. Customers don't care about your company as much as they care about the benefits your product or service provides them. And they care even less when it comes to a small business brand that they've never heard of before. So if your posts are centered around why your company is the best or an award you received or how your product has the latest and greatest technology, you're gonna lose their attention. Let's look at a few examples of this principle in action. Let's say you sell dishwashers. Which social media post do you think is likely to get their social media followers' attention? Our dishwasher has the latest cleaning gadget in it that wipes plates with a 360 degree Turbo Cleaner 3000. Or you don't have to rinse or half clean your dishes before putting them in the dishwasher anymore. Our dishwasher will have every dirty dish, no matter how thick and cakey, sparkling clean in one wash. The second option sounds better, right? Why? It's because the second option addresses a pain point that the audience struggles with. They can relate to that scenario immediately. The first option explains how the benefit occurs with jargon that the audience doesn't care about or maybe understand. Let's look at life marketing as another example, which sounds better to you as a small business owner. Our company has been listed on the Inc. 5000 list several years in a row. We've been featured on CNBC's The Profit, and we have top of the line digital marketing experts at the helm of our clients' campaigns. Contact us today. Or if you want to see results like this, or like this, or like this, these are all results we have generated for business owners who needed help driving sales while growing and running their small business. If scaling your results sounds like something you'd be interested in too, contact us today. Which grabbed your attention more? Probably option two, right? Why? Because it starts out showing goals that you're after. You want more sales and you want more leads. While all the points we mentioned in example one are great things, some of you watching may not even know what the Inc. 5000 list is or have ever seen the show The Profit to really grasp the success of that. Or even if you do, you might think, okay, that's great, but what can you do for me? Example two answers that question. Let's look at one more example. Let's say you own a bakery. Example one, we've got the best pastry chef in town. He's from France and makes five-star desserts with top-of-the-line ingredients. Or example two, no matter if you're gluten-free, have a peanut allergy, or simply want to enjoy fresh organic ingredients in your treats, everyone in the family can enjoy top-of-the-line desserts at our bakery. Again, we're seeing that example one has great points, but example two is all about the customer's experience, and that's going to their attention every time. So let's wrap up talking about the exception to the rule. When is the only time you can use the word I or a variation of it in your social media posts? The exception is when you're sharing a relatable story. A great example of this would be why you started your company. The owner of a deodorant company named Curie ran an Instagram ad telling her small business story that actually got me to purchase and repurchase. The reason is because her why behind creating this product was something that I could relate to. She shared about how she could never find a clean, non-toxic deodorant that actually worked. That motivated her to create one that did. I've had the same experience. I don't want a deodorant that could give me cancer, but I do want one that works and keeps me smelling nice. So when I heard her sharing the same frustrations as the reason for starting her company, I had to try it. 
I tried it, loved it, and repurchased it. So in this instance, you can see why the exception to the rule is the exception to the rule. It's because it's ultimately still centered around something relatable to the customer. Take a moment and look at your existing upcoming social media posts for the month and read through them to see how you can reorient them to be customer centered. And I'll see you guys in the next episode.